the intent behind it is the same. The way you go about doing it is the same. You've written your draft of your solutions proposal. Now it's time to go in and support your thoughts and ideas with research. As before, you're not going in so that you can just plop in a bunch of information into this memo. We still want the majority of this memo to be from you. And in fact, for this particular assignment, you're still not adding any research to anything. The bibliography is just when you go find your sources online and you do your works cited page or your references page on them. So just finding the sources and doing your works cited or references page. So again, you're only looking online for your sources. You're not going to use any print sources. And you want to look for sources that offer you particular information. You've got three goals for the content that you need to look for in these sources that you're going to find. Number one, you need to keep in mind that every paragraph in your memo will need some sort of research in it. So that's your introduction paragraph that includes background on the incident type. So you may want to look for a source that tells you how frequently this incident happens in general in the workplace rather than just in your particular place of business. Then you have your causes section. What does the research say about some causes of the incident type? Then, of course, you have your effects. What does the research say about effects of the incident type you've chosen in the workplace in general? Then solutions. Look at your solutions that you offered. Does the research support those solutions? If so, you might want to include that it does. Or does the research offer solutions that you never considered? If so, feel free to add that the research offered other solutions and tell us what those were. What you don't want to do is end up with only research or mostly research in any of your areas. You just want to use the research to supplement what you already, what you already wrote. And then, of course, your conclusion. You want to find a resource that supports your conclusion. Now, that's the research you're going to need to support each of your paragraphs in your draft, which is exactly what we did with the social media memo. We were using our sources to support what we already said. We do have two additional purposes for your research in this particular assignment, though. I wanted to add a little something new. Just like in the memo, I added the body headings for something a little new. In this assignment, I'm giving you two additional types of things to look for in your sources that you find. First, you want to make sure that you find some articles that have pictures on them that you can use for visual aids. So, if in the example I've been using, I'm talking about fall incidents, then I may want to find an article that shows me a picture of somebody falling or a picture of caution wet floor signs, all right? So look for articles that have pictures that go along with the topic or the incident that you're discussing. You may also want to see if any of your sources offer charts or graphs that show how often the incidents happen or something like that. So any kind of visual aids, pictures, charts, graphs, anything like that, you want to make sure you find at least one or two sources that offer you a couple to several good visual aids. You will need them later. Now, one of the reasons I say you need to find articles that offer you good visual aids is I'm not going to allow you to use any visual aids from somewhere like Google Pics. You can't just search for pictures because very frequently those pictures are not linked to any article that you could do a works cited or reference entry on. And something else I would like for you to learn here is 
using somebody else's picture without signing it is just as much plagiarism as it would be if you took somebody's paper and used it without citing it. It's still somebody else's work. It still belongs to somebody else. Now, yes, there are instances where you can use these images on a Creative Commons license or something like that, but to keep from having to get into all the technicalities of when you can and when you cannot, I'm just going to veto the use of Google Pics or anything like that, and I'm going to say your visual aids must come from a regular article that you plan to use somewhere in your paper. That way you don't have to worry about all the different ways to do it. We can focus just on this one way that goes along with the way you already know how to cite research from your social media project. So as you're looking for your sources, not only should you look for sources that you can use to support your body paragraphs, but you also want to find a couple of these sources, a couple of articles that offer good visual aids you can use. Finally, you want to look for at least one source that gives you some idea of how much it would cost to implement the solutions that you have proposed in this proposal. So if you've told your boss that one of your solutions is to invest in wet floor signs, you need to go find some wet floor signs and figure out how much it's going to cost to get enough of them for your place of business. Now again, we're not putting any of this in our draft yet for this particular assignment. You're just going and finding online all these different sources that will do everything you need them to do. Once you find your sources, all I want you to do with them is do your works cited entry or your reference entry on them. So using the same documentation style you used last time, you'll pick either APA or MLA. You're going to create your bibliography page with the appropriate title. So if you're doing APA, you're going to do a references page. If you're doing MLA, you're going to do a works cited page. You're going to want to make sure every entry contains all the required content, that it is formatted correctly, that the entries are in alphabetical order. You need a minimum of five sources, but given how much you need to do, you're likely going to need more than that. Of your sources, you need a minimum of two of them to have an author and a minimum of two of them without an author. Again, I require this just so I have enough to assess to be able to tell if you can do it both ways. So you, if you end up with 10 sources, then two of them must not have an author. If you end up with 10 sources, at least two of them have to have an author. All right, so however you do it, it doesn't matter about the rest of them. However many you have, a minimum of five, at least two with an author, at least two without an author. The rest don't matter as long as they're complete entries. Again, like I did on your initial memo for this week, I am not going to redo a video to walk you through how to do your works cited page or your references page. If you have any questions on how to do it or if you want to use those videos to walk you through your entries like you did last time, you're going to go back to your week three in content where you did your social media bibliography and you're going to scroll down in your content, and if you're APA, you're going to use your APA bibliography lectures, and if you're MLA, you're going to use your MLA bibliography lectures. Now, of course, any specific comments I make in relation to social media versus what you're supposed to be doing now, which is your proposal, of course, that's going to be different. But the way your actual entries will be completed 
is exactly the same. So the content is different as far as what you're looking for and what the titles of your articles are going to be. So they're going to be about slip and fall incidents. They're not going to be about social media. Other than that, everything else will be the same. The way you do your author section will be the same. The way you do your title section will be the same. The way you do your other stuff section will be the same. The way you organize and format your entries will be the same. So again, week three, either your MLA bibliography stuff or your APA bibliography stuff will still walk you through this bibliography assignment. This is only your works cited or your references page. You're not adding any research to anything yet. You'll do that next week. And this one is worth 50 points. So it's worth more than your last bibliography was. When you complete your bibliography page, go back to your week seven, and you're gonna submit that to your solutions proposal, research bibliography, 